Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney. If you don't know me already and on my channel, I react to all things America and other stuff as well. So if you're interested in anything America really, military, sport, whatever, definitely subscribe down below for more videos. Um, so in today's video, I'm really intrigued to check this one out. This is Stealth, How Does It Work? The Northrop B2 Spirit. I cannot speak. But the first time I saw this, it was on a video probably a year ago and I was like what is this I'd never seen anything like this before of course I think a lot of Americans are familiar with this aircraft but as a New Zealander we definitely do not have anything like this in our Air Force Navy Army whatever we don't have this <laughs> never seen it before it looks like a freaking UFO <laughs> I called it like a boomerang the first time I saw it like I was like, what is this? So we're gonna check it out today, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you've got anything else to add, definitely feel free to leave a comment down below. I not only learn so much from these videos, but from you guys who comment down below. So thank you so much for that if you do want to. Um, yeah, and without any further ado, let's get into today's video. The B-2 Stealth Bomber is probably one of the most iconic planes to have ever been built. It's, its sleek flying wing design makes it practically invisible to radar and incredibly fuel efficient, allowing it to penetrate even the most sophisticated of enemy defences. But how did this incredible aircraft come into existence and what technological advancements it made it possible? The rise of stealth aircraft can be tracked back to World War I, when the Germans attempted to use transparent canvas to make their planes difficult to spot. That plan backfired, as the glossy canvas made the aircraft even more visible in sunlight. Mm. The demand for stealth aircraft, as we think of them today, rose with the advancement of practical radar technology in the 1930s. The technology formed the backbone of Britain's early warning system during the Battle of Britain, saving uncountable lives from German bombing runs. Let's see how the technology works. Radar works by sending short pulses of electromagnetic energy in the form of radio waves outwards. The antenna then switches to receiver mode and waits to detect the reflections of these radio waves off distant objects. The radar now receives a blip on the screen called a radar cross section, and its size changes with the magnitude of radio waves returning to the antenna. The radar cross section is a measure of how detectable an object is with radar. The size of the object is just one factor, which can be mitigated with clever engineering. The B2 has a 52 meter wingspan, yet it has been reported to have the same radar cross section as a large bird. So how does the B2 manage to achieve this incredible feat? Oh my feat? God! The core concept behind the B2 is reflection. It was designed to reflect the radio waves away from the source so that they never get the chance to be detected. What is amazing is that every surface of the B2 has been designed with this in mind. The aircraft was designed with the aid of computational models and a supercomputer, which resulted in an incredibly complex See, curved shape. Not look real. This technology was not available during the development of the F-117 Nighthawk, resulting in its much simpler faceted flat panels. The B-2's radar cross-section is further reduced by its streamlined flying wing design, with its highly reflective engines embedded within the aircraft, where radar cannot see it. Even the engine's air intakes and exhaust vents are located on top of the plane to ensure they cannot be detected by ground-based devices. But the flying wing has some unique flying characteristics that took many years for Northrop to perfect. One of the most notable is the lack of a tail rotor to control yaw. The B-2 instead uses split rudders on the tips of the left and right wing. They act as air brakes to slow either side of the wing and cause a yawing motion. But when in use, the split rudders can increase the radar cross-section of the plane, so the B-2 can also use differential thrusting of its left and right engines to allow it to be controlled when stealth is a priority. Beyond its shape, the B-2 is also made with advanced composite materials, which are capable of absorbing and dissipating incoming radio energy. The exact composition of the B-2 is classified, but we know that the skin is made from a carbon fibre reinforced plastic, while the leaning edge of the B-2 is lightly painted with a material which contains small particles of iron, which absorb electromagnetic energy and converts it to heat. So With these technologies combined, the B-2 barely even registers on radar screens. What is even more terrifying to think about is the fact that the Nazis had created a very similar plane all the way back in 1944. The Horton 229 incorporated many of the same principles as the B-2, long before the stealth technology that made the B-2 possible was fully understood. Today, we can only imagine the impact this plane would have had if it was ready before the war's end. Oh my 
cannot imagine. Thanks for watching and welcome to all my new subscribers. I told myself I would not set up a Patreon account until I hit 10,000 subscribers and I blew through that goal with my previous video, so the link for that is below, along with my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter accounts. I'm really excited for my next video, so make sure to subscribe and watch it when it comes out. Awesome guys, go check out his channel, seems like he's got a lot of aircraft videos on there. Wow, that's so interesting that they were able to create a whole aircraft and it only comes up as a large bird on the radar. Like, that's crazy how they were able to manipulate the radar system, right? It's truly an incredible aircraft. It doesn't look real. Like, I just can't even grasp the fact that it is real. Even when I saw it in my video a year ago, I was like, is this, is this real life? Truly, I'd never seen it before until that moment. And everyone in my comments was like, how do you not know about it? I'm like, we don't, we don't have this down in New Zealand at all. Like we have the United States secondhand <laughs> aircraft, so <laughs> old school stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. If you've got anything to add to this, definitely feel free to below i'd love to learn a bit more about it it's quite interesting how nazi germany created a similar concept you know back in world war ii very scary thought very very scary thought but oh my gosh <laughs> someone left a comment here i just have to share it looking at radar hey why is there a large bird flying at 600 miles per hour here's explosion damn it <laughs> It's so true. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. It's a very short video today, but very informative and kind of gave, gave me more background to this insane aircraft. Again, leave a comment down below if you've got anything to add or anything like that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have a video recommendation, head over to my website, which I will link down below, and you can make video recommendations on there, and hopefully I can feature your recommendation on my channel. Um, but yeah, apart from that, like this video if you did like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.